uh, hi everyone so today we will be making a pair of earrings shaped like strawberries and these are the things that will be required for making the earrings so we have uh, two different color yarns uh, one is a bright red yarn and one is a dark green yarn so uh, these yarns are of the size 10 and also we will be requiring a crochet hook I am using a crochet hook of size 0.85 mm and I will be requiring two hooks. So we will start off with the green yarn. We will make a slip knot here. Then we will make a chain of six. Once chain of six is completed, we'll be joining to the first stitch here with a slip stitch. Then we'll chain three. This tra chain three counts as a double crochet. Another double crochet into the ring. Once we have two double crochets, we'll chain one and make another set of two double crochets. So this is the first double crochet. <laughs> this is the second double crochet. And then we'll chain one again. So what we'll do basically is make two double crochets and then chain one so we will have to make sets of 12 so we'll have to make 12 sets so this is my second set so you'll have total of 24 double crochets so once we are done with the 12 sets of double crochet we'll be joining to the third stitch I mean to the third chain of our first stitch so yeah then we'll be joining it with a slip knot and then pull the yarn through the stitch and make sure it's tight and then we can snip it off So now we have this ring, the edge of the yarn you can stitch it using a needle or you can crochet it. So once we have this ring, we'll start off with the red yarn, we'll make a slip knot. and pull it through in between one of those sets so we have the sets of double crochet and a single chain so this is the space uh, once we have pulled the slip slip knot through the space we'll be chaining three And then we'll make a double crochet into the same space. And we'll make another double crochet into the same space. So we'll have a total of three double crochet into the space. 
now we will move to the next space that is after two double crochet here too we'll be making three double crochets So since we have 12 sets of double crochets, we'll be having 12 spaces available and into each of the spaces we will have to make 3 double crochets. So we have completed 12 sets as you can see here and now we are going to slip stitch it to the third chain here. I will chain three now for the next row. And turn our work. <laughs> and we're going to make another Two double crochet this chain three counts as one so we'll make another three uh, two double crochets in this chain space the same we repeat the same in the next chain space that is this so we'll make three double crochets into the next chain space I uh, will repeat this until we have a total of five sets so now as you can see we have completed five sets so after the fifth set we'll be skipping the next space and we'll be doing our stitches in this space so similarly make uh, three double crochets in this space So we'll continue the same thing in the next four spaces as well. So three double crochets in each space. We have five sets here then we have skipped one chain one space and then we have again another five sets of three double crochet one two three four five and here after the fifth set we'll be skipping this space and we will be slip stitching to the top of our chain that is on the third chain so we'll be slip stitching here and if you fold it this way you can see we have this is how it looks okay so now again So now what we have to do is we will have to move to this chain space and to do that we'll have to slip stitch our way to the chain space. So what we'll do is we'll do a slip stitch here and then we do a slip stitch in this space 
and then we do a chain three and then we do another two double crochet so this is the first set that we have made and here too what we have to do is we have to make one two three four sets and then skip this space and jump on to the next space so let's do that so as you can see we have here four stitches one two three four after the fourth stitch we will skip this space and we will move on to the next space After the space, we have done another one, one, two, three, four. So here too, we'll be skipping this space and doing a slip stitch to the first chain. On sorry to the third to the third chain of the first stitch so doing a slip stitch here once we're done with the slip stitch we have to move to this first space so for that we are going to slip stitch our way through it so into this stitch Let's do a slip stitch here and then into the space we'll do another slip stitch. Once we are into the space we'll chain three. Once we have chain three we need to make another two more double crochets into the space. So as you can see so far we have completed three rows one then two and three and you can see like in the first row we have six sets in the next row we have five sets then four so in this next set we'll have three and then two and then one so every time we will have to skip this corner spaces we have to skip this corner spaces and crochet into the next available space so let's continue so once we are done with this three sets like before we'll be skipping this chain space and continuing the set three sets into the next available space so we'll be skipping this and we'll be doing a crochet into this space. We'll make three more sets and then joining to the first stitch work we'll be joining to the third stitch sorry third chain of our first stitch with the slip knot so once you're done with this we'll be moving to this space Space. So we'll slip knot, slip stitch here, and another slip stitch here. 
and then we will chain three and two more double crochet in the same space this time we will have two sets on either side so our first set and our second set after that we'll be skipping this space and continuing our work on the next available space And then we'll slip stitch to the first stitch here on the third chain. So this is the last row and we'll have one set on either side. So we slip stitch and reach the center space another slip stitch here then chain of three and two double crochet Like before we will skip this space and so we'll skip this space and we will do a crochet into this space. Once we are done, we'll be joining using a slip knot to the first stitch. So we are done with the strawberry here. We can. So we're done with the strawberry. We can stitch in this leftover yarn. So our strawberry here is ready, as you can see, and it has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And on the first row, on the first row, as you can see, we have six sets followed by five sets four sets three sets two set and one so once we're done with this we'll take the green yarn again make a slip knot so once we are done we'll make a slip knot and pass the slip knot through the one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, sixth through the sixth green set, and we will chain ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once you have chained ten, you're going to join this with a slip knot on the opposite side. Now next we have to put this hook on so for this 
we might be needing an additional tool so what we have to do is create a small space here put this chain inside it and close it off So here we have our strawberry earring ready. We have to make another in, another one in the same way. And we have a pair of cute earrings.